Uh, problem number four in section 11, uh, I believe this is 11.5 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we are trying to prove that for a positive integral n, the gamma function of n plus half reduces to the following formula. Okay, so I kind of did this before. I'm not sure if I posted this video or not, but I will not do it again. I'll just show you the steps of what I did. Um, uh, and uh, yes, this is in section uh, 11.5. Let me write this down. Okay, uh, so the way I started doing this, I started by saying that the gamma function of n plus half, I rewrote plus half as minus half plus one. It's the same thing. And uh, then, and the reason I did that is because I'm trying to use the recursion formula. Uh, that says uh, the gamma function of p times p is equal to uh, the gamma function of p plus 1. This is a recursion formula 4.1 in your textbook. Okay, and so uh, I ha so now if I have n minus half plus 1, I have it in the form of p plus 1 where p is equal to n minus half. So then this becomes just p, which is n minus half times the gamma function of p, which is n minus half. And then I went back and then I broke the n minus half the same way I broke the n plus half. n minus half is the same thing of n minus 3 over 2 plus 1. And what I'm doing here, I'm, I keep breaking that inside fraction, inside the gamma function, into 1 plus whatever is remaining in order to give me the previous fraction. So like minus half becomes minus 3 over 2 uh, plus half. Here. Okay. Um, and so again, I use the recursion formula where this becomes... Uh, p in this case is n minus 3 halves, so now we have originally an n minus half, and then using the recursion formula on the second part would become n minus 3 halves times the gamma function of p, which is n minus 3 halves. So we got the second step. And then I would go back and I would break n minus 3 half by the same way. n minus 3 half is, I, will, I could rewrite it as n plus 1, Right, and to get minus three halves, of course, I would get minus five halves because minus halves plus one would give me m n minus three halves. And now this is my p, and this is the plus one, and then I could use the recursion formula, and I would get uh, uh, the 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 step uh, after this. And imagine if we keep on doing this, uh, what we're doing. Notice the pattern here. We got n minus half, n minus three halves, n minus five halves. So it looks like I'm getting one half, three halves, five halves. So I have a two in the denominator and I have all the odd numbers starting from one down to three, five, then seven, etc., etc., all the way down till I get, if I keep doing this indefinitely, I would get to half, which would be my p in this case, and then I would get the gamma function of half. Okay, now the gamma function of half is square root pi. So I replaced uh, uh, gamma function of half with square root of pi and now all these terms what I did is I took the common denominator on each uh, one of the factors so for example n minus half is the same thing as 2 n minus 1 over 2 n minus 3 halves is the same thing as 2 n minus 3 over 2 and so on all the way to half now notice that there's a pattern here and what's really going on is uh, you're multiplying now 2n is an even number right for any integer n 2n is even now if I subtract 1 from an from a from an even number I of course would get an odd number uh, an odd number so that means I'm so on the numerator I'm accounting for the odd numbers all the way till the greatest one of them of all which is 2n minus 1 because from there on the numbers just keep on going down so 2n minus 1 2n minus 3 2n minus 5 2n minus 7 dot 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 till I get to 5 3 1 this is the same thing as 1 times 3 times 5 times dot 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 all the way to 2n minus 1 over notice here in the denominator if I run this n times I have 2 in each denominator so this would be just 2 to the n Okay, now here what I did 
uh, I multiplied the numerator and the denominator by 2n minus 1 times 2n. So 2n minus 1 times 2n. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get, since I'm multiplying all the numbers from 1 to 2n, uh, that is the same thing um, as uh, n factorial, yeah? So, so this would become uh, 2n factorial. except that 2n factorial would not be correct. And the reason it wouldn't be correct because 2n factorial is really, if n is one, I would get two times, uh, uh, if n is uh, one, two, uh, if n is, uh, so this would be two factorial. And if n is three, I would get six factorial um, and, um, uh, notice that I'm getting all the even numbers up there, correct? Where I do not have those even numbers in the numerator. So what I did in order to uh, account for this um, degeneracy, or in order to account for these uh, added multiplied terms in the numerator, what I did is I divided by what I multiplied by in the numerator in, or in order to cancel them out. So I do have all the odd numbers on top, but with this here, with this 2n factorial, uh, this is giving me uh, an additional even numbers. And what I did is I multiplied by the additional even numbers, which is 2, 4, 6, all the way to 2n in order to, uh, so that the even ones can cancel out and I would uh, be left with the odd numbers in the numerator as it's supposed to be from here. 1 times 3 times 5 all the way to n minus 1, okay? And uh, so now this reduces to, so I have 2n uh, factorial on top um, and uh, square root of pi, which came from the gamma function of half. And I did 2 to the n was there because remember I have 2 on every numerator, so that's 2 to the n. And I also have to divide by n factorial and 2 to the n in order to account for, uh, like I explained, whatever I added before. And so, uh, uh, so that's n factorial, so that's 1 times 2 times 3 all the way and then 2 to the n, right? Because I have all the even numbers here again. And so 2 to the n times 2 to the n would give me 4 to the n. n factorial stays n factorial, and on top I have 2 n factorial, and this is exactly what we are trying to prove times square root of pi. So this is the de desired result. This is how we prove that, uh, this proves that the gamma function of n plus half is the same thing as this expression here in green that I got at the end. Uh, this concludes... Uh,